police officers attached to the community policing units and personnel from agencies that work with young people in conflict have been engaged in a week-long training hosted by Restore Belize in partnership with the Ministry of Human Development, Social Transformation, and Poverty Alleviation through its Youth and Community Transformation Project. The workshop focuses on identifying sources of conflict, mediation tools, including questioning skills, problem solving, trust building, and de-escalating conflicts. Restore Belize has a mandate to respond to violent crimes, particularly within the Belize city communities. Uh, conflict resolution is not new to us. We have done this before with many different schools, primarily in the more violent communities in Belize city. But what is different about this particular training is that we're also including community workers. We know that as much as the teachers work with the students, the government, um, as well as other social partners and NGOs, they also work along with young people through different programs. It's important for us to arm all our uh, community workers with these very important skills in conflict mediation. One of the facilitators for the training is a counselor by profession, Pamela Dyer. She says that at times these community workers and NGOs who engage with the youth must understand their roles as mediators. Sometimes that may mean removing the proverbial work hat. For me as a counselor and as a trained mediator, um, it takes some time to develop the skills. Um, it's a new way of dealing with crime and violence. It's a new way of even dealing with your own personal life. It's a skill that you take away for yourself and for your profession. So I could understand the police officer in terms of having have to go into different roles because you're trained as a police officer, you're trained as a counselor. And I could speak from my own experience as a counselor, I had to adapt the new skills. Um, it's not about making um, the decisions for the person, but using the skills like the communication skills in probing, in paraphrasing or reframing, taking out the negative out of the conflict itself from the conversation of the disputants. As a mediator, you're not a counselor, right? So you have to really remember your role. It's not a dual situation. So if while you're mediating a person or a dispute or two disputants and you realize that this person really needs counseling, that's when you have to make note of it and refer to. For the police department, community policing is key to solving crimes and they would oftentimes come in contact with youths in conflict. Sergeant Marlene Montejo spoke of some of the challenges they face and how the training will assist them in carrying out their duties. Gaining the trust from the youths, and that is one of the biggest ones we are learning here. Of all, we must learn that being the mediator is not being the police officer at that time. We are the ones who would usually respond to conflicts between youths and things, and we know these days our youths are having a lot of conflict among themselves, being students or um, youths just on the street. So today, um, so me and some of my colleagues, we are here. We usually do mediation, but like they say, the old school way. So we are here to learn and enhance our knowledge of doing it the proper way. Dwayne Moody for News 5.